So I thought after all this Premier League review, it might actually be a perfect occasion to look at my four Premier League jerseys that I own. And I want to start off with the first one that I ever got. That's the one that is not featured on the videos. And this was actually a gift from my brother who visited London in 2000. And he brought back this Chelsea jersey, the current home jersey. Uh, Note the old Chelsea crest. It's of course an umbro with the nice umbro design here. Um, and it's Gianfranco Zola, a player I still love and I loved back then. Um, it's a very, very interesting shirt. I think England had a similar one. I honestly have to say when I got it, I, I was wearing it, of course, because I was happy that I have a Chelsea. Chelsea was back then the team to watch in England and we that was my my team in England at that point and yeah, they played great football and they were just always on the cusp of breaking through and that kind of made them kind of the I don't want to say everyone starting because I know especially from an English point of view uh, that JLD always had this hooligan history attached to them as well but at least in Austria or uh, most of Europe they were really exciting because they were one of the first teams to really embrace uh, Europe. They had a lot of great players from Serie A that were kind of on the way out, but still good. I'm thinking ridiculously Gianluca Vialli. Gianfranco Zola actually play, played in his prime there. Uh, they had even Didier Deschamps in this squad. So, I mean, there was a lot of star power there. They were t said to have sexy football. So it was very non-English uh, everything there and they won actually some silverware in Europe but they never could quite win the Premier League with these great sides only when Abramovich came in and do you want to say ruined English football well he pumped a lot of money into Chelsea then Chelsea started started winning and became a true powerhouse but they lost a little bit this flair of being a team that everyone likes to watch and a little bit root for especially if you come from continental Europe so I in a way I miss those days of Chelsea and yeah this is one of those uh, jerseys uh, I actually like it a lot about it the one thing I don't like are those white uh, stripes but I really like the sleeve cuffs with the white and the blue I also like the color although I wish it would not try to fake a v-neck and then kind of peter out here but really go for the crew neck but it still looks nice and the other thing is if you look closely it has this weird striping that I never got why it is there I was wondered what was the idea behind it it was also my first umbro shirt and I always thought that umbro shirts are the nicest soccer shirts so that's why I was happy and uh, immediately as I pull it on I could feel this is a much stronger material than all the other shirts that I had this is I actually it is a warm it's warm to wear it, it this is a jersey I pull out uh, when it's kind of cold out there, uh, you still could wear a short sleeve, but it, you need something thicker. This is a really nice shirt for wearing that. Um, the back is a little bit more plain blue, and I really like this lettering style. Um, of course, what's missing are the Premier League patches, but that's not a big miss. And yeah, the logo from back then. Um, I know it's a lion, but for many people it's hard to find the lion. I also find this rib here very, very interesting. Um, and I like how the umbro diamonds here are a little bit shiny. As I said, England had a very similar shirt like that in white, which also is still one of my favorite England shirts. I really like this jersey. Florian, my brother, I, thank you for getting this to me. I'm still wearing it. I like it a lot. And yeah. Those were the times when we were exchanging shirts uh, as gifts <laughs> until we realized it's way too expensive <laughs> to do so. But yeah. And uh, this was worn in Stanford Bridge twice. My brother Florian wore it. I think they watched a Champions League qualifier against the Latvian team from Riga. I think. And I wore this when I was at Stanford Bridge. Um, I think we wore uh, against Newcastle, which is odd. Uh, I like Newcastle a lot, uh, especially since the black and white, like my favorite team, I keep showing this jersey, Lusk, we are black and white and our biggest city rival plays in blue. Doesn't make much sense, but still, uh, Chelsea, it's blue. I really like it. 
This is a really nice jersey uh, and I like it more the older it gets. I, I'm not wearing it that often because I don't like Chelsea as much as I did back then. Uh, but at this time Chelsea was my favorite team and I really really like their team. Well let me know what you think about this jersey, whether you like it or not and I will talk to you soon. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.